We're in Adobe Bridge. I'm using version CS6, but this will apply to all versions from CS right the way through to CC. It comes from a question I was asked, and the question was, can you view four images side by side in Bridge? And if so, what is the best method? And I thought, what a great question, because I think sometimes we tend to overlook, once we've set up Bridge, we tend to overlook the various options that we have of viewing our pictures. So in this video, we're going to take a look at using the preview screen, using the zoom tool. We're then going to go to full screen. We're going to have a look at rotating through our pictures, zooming in on our pictures, then narrowing down the number of pictures that we look at for screen before going into moving pictures around so we can view them side by side. And then probably my favorite method of all, which is the review mode. Right, to make a start, I'm going to come up to the first image, I'm going to click on it, and there it is. It now opens over here on the preview screen. You'll notice as well, when we come to the preview screen, the way I've got my little zoom tool, if I click down. Now this is showing us, if I just click down around this, and bring it up into this area here so we can take a look. Down the bottom, this is showing us the file name. Then we've got the dot extension. This particular one here is a DNG file, which is a raw file. This is the important part, 100%. In other words, we're looking at this at 100% zoom magnification. Now we can zoom in even closer. If I just touch down and move in, we're going into 200%. We can go to 400% and we can even go to a pixel bust in 800%. In fact, if I move it over, you might even see what we're looking at. There it is there. Pretty interesting. Zooming back out to 200%, out to 100%, probably the best way. And just move your way around the image and you can see exactly how it's looking. Clicking down again will remove the zoom tool. Right, now let's take a look at viewing it full screen. Now to view any images full screen, all you need to do is to press the space bar. Now I've got the first image selected. I'm gonna press the space bar. Now if I use the right hand arrow, this is going to take me through each and every picture that I've got in this particular folder. When I press down the uh, the right hand arrow, it's gonna take me to the next image. If I press down the left hand arrow, it takes you back. So you can scroll through all your pictures. Once again, though, you can actually come in and you can zoom in on your image. Now, if I click down, we can zoom right in. That's gone about 200%. That's better. That's at 100%. If I press down control and now click down, we can now move around our picture so we can have a good look around and see exactly how it's looking. Just give it a little while to settle down sometimes and you notice where the pixels drop in. But once we've done this, we can zoom in closer. We can go to the 200%. We can go to the 400%. And we can zoom right in again to that pixel bust in 800% and see how your picture looks at that pixel for pixel. Zooming back out, let's go back out to 4 to 2 to 100% and back out to fit on view. And there it is. Pressing the space bar again is going to take us back to the thumbnails. Now, how do you view just the selection of pictures? Well, if you click on one image, if you press command or control, two, three, let's go for these four pictures here. You'll notice there they are, they're showing in the preview. If you press the space bar, there's the first image using that right hand arrow key again. There's the second, there's the third, there's the fourth, back to the start one. So now you're just viewing the amount of images that you want to view full screen. Now, don't forget with all of these, you can come into the picture, you can zoom into 100%. If you zoom into 100%, the next time you press that right arrow key, it's gonna take you to the same zoom magnification for the next image along. There it is, 100% of the next image, going to 100% of the next image there. Okay, it hasn't uh, lined up, but you can click down, you can move it around so you can see exactly how it's looking. There is something of interest rather than clouds in this picture. Oh, there it is there, the flat home and steep home. Go into our next image and come into our next image so you can zoom through them at 100%. Zooming back out again, there's the picture. Pressing the space bar is going to take us back to our thumbnail views. So how about moving pictures around? Well, this is using the what's known as the essential mode. If I just click down on one image, if we go and take a look at uh, light table, that's a good one to use. Now with the light table, I'm going to click on this image and I'm going to press command or control and I'm going to click on this image here and I'm going to lift this up 
and I'm going to move it around. You can place it anywhere where you get that solid line. That's where you can drop it in. I'm going to drop it into this position here. So we've moved pictures around. It's a great way of doing it. Use the light table for doing this. Now I'm going to change the view again from the light table. We're going to go to the film strip. Now with the film strip, this is the way it's looking. And we've got these two images selected. So we can see two images side by side. I'm going to press command or control. There's our third. There's our fourth. But this can be however many images you like. You can view them now side by side. You can even come in. You can click on this. You can move that right out. So you are now just viewing images. If you set up a workspace that you particularly like, you can come to and you can actually save that workspace. So you can go to new workspace. It's going to give it a name for you as well. You can rename it to a name of your choice and it's going to save the window location part of the workspace and you can click save on that. So the next time you come to it, for example, if we go back to film strip, that's back to the way we were. We can come back to this one here, number two, and there it is showing us exactly how it looks with this you will notice I've got the zoom tool showing I can click down we're looking at this at 100% of the image let's move into that area there you can come in you can do exactly the same thing this is a great way of allowing you to compare your pictures so if you've taken three or four of the same sort of uh, subject matter perhaps at slightly different exposures you can come in and you can see exactly how each one is looking so it really is it's a great way of working don't forget once you're set up in this mode as well, you can still just press the space bar. You can view your first, second, third, fourth, or however many you've got, and back to the first image again. Now I mentioned one other way, and that was the review mode. So let's go back to the essentials, which is this one here. You'll notice the four images are still selected. It's showing us in the preview. I'm going to scroll up to the top, going to use command or control. And I'm going to select these pictures as well. So I've got all these thumbnails being selected, scrolling down. So I can take some more in as well. We're going to add these. What I tend to do is when I have downloaded uh, the images from my camera, so they come down from the camera, I've downloaded them, they're on the hard drive, I'll then come into Bridge, take a look at them in Bridge, and I'll use Command A, Control A to select all of the pictures. Then once I've selected all of the pictures, I'll come up to View and drop down to Review Mode. Command B, Control B is the shortcut for this clicking on it and there it is we're now in the review mode now it's telling us that I've selected 20 items now this can be however many you want it doesn't even have to be you know it could be two or three pictures or it can be two or three hundred pictures doesn't really matter right let's just drop down if I bring my cursor in there is our zoom tool if I click down you'll notice we've gone in I'm in at 100% it's telling us here now if I click down I can go into 200% to 400 to 800% just as we did before and you can take a look around your picture at this pixel busting 800% or go back out to 100% clicking down that is now going to remove the zoom tool right if we take a look down here we've got these arrows we've got a left arrow which is going to take us to the left we've got a right arrow which is going to take us to the right and we have got a downward facing arrow now what does that do let's come to this picture here what if you want to deselect this from your selection that you're making or from the collection that you're making well just use this downward facing arrow you can click on that that has now removed it but you can also use the arrows on the keyboard. For example, if I use my left hand arrow, we go to this image here, so the left hand side, using the downward facing arrow, that is now going to deselect it. So let's go through to the left. I'm going to give this a rating of, say, two stars. Coming to this one, now I've got a very similar one, so I'm going to compare them. I think I'm going to deselect this one. You can also click on it, you can just drag and drop it down. This is now going to deselect it when I release it, through it goes it's deselected bring your cursor up click down you can come to this image here you can come to this one and if we take a look down on this side clicking on it there's your uh, zoom tool so you can come in you can actually bring your zoom tool up by just clicking on this little icon here the icon next to it that's forming the collection and this little cross that is to take you back to your thumbnail view to give your images rating just press the numerical keys on the keyboard, two stars for that, so I'll just press two. Coming for this one, don't particularly want that, so I'm going to use the downward facing arrow. Let's go through to the left again. I've given that a three star rating, three star rating. 
coming through four star I did come through and just give some of these ratings right let's come down we're gonna click on this little folder here clicking on this little folder here is now going to bring us back now you either get a prompt coming up on the screen asking you exactly the same here collection from uh, review mode I'll give this a name and so it does open either one of two ways I've noticed it does open either as a prompt in the center of the screen or as the collection down here but once you've done that just click on the folder there it is there's your collection with the name and the number of items in your collection in other words 16 you will notice you've also got those star ratings as well coming back to our original folder you'll notice all the images are there you haven't deleted any you just removed some from the collection but a collection is a great way of working because rather than coming through and having a you know, a whole load of images in your folder which can be a little bit confusing all right yes I know we can move them around but just giving them a collection like this it just removes all the other images the distractions from around there and it just makes it easier to work these may be the ones that you want to work on next or the ones that you may want to print but it's even more refined again if we come to the filter where we got the filter now I've actually got one image with no rating now if I click on it it's this one here you can still give it a rating at this stage if I just come down just click on it I can give that two stars by just bringing my cursor across and there it is it's now disappeared there are no ratings on with zero on it so if I click on my two star coming through just uncheck that one so click on my two star there it is there's the one we just gave a rating to and there are the others which we gave two stars three stars clicking on this there's 11 of these if I just remove those and there they are and the one with the uh, four star rating if I click on this one there it is that's the one with the four star rating exactly the same in the actual folder itself you can still come through and now I've actually got 29 without ratings on this but you can still do the same sort of thing but it's so much easier working without all that additional sort of all those images cluttered around you by using the collection so go on give it a try uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a comment underneath on the comment section but until the next time it is happy imaging and take care